What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna be checking out these Titan chains on our 2020 Kia Telluride. Take a closer look at the chain. This is gonna be good for helping you get grip in snow and ice. Now these chains kind of have the best of a lot of the different style chains. It's got a diamond pattern, so that's gonna have more coverage on the tire to help you out with not only just starts and stops, but overall grip while you're driving. It's also got the built-in tensioner I like because it's added to the chain. You can't take it off there. I don't like the tensioners that you have to keep with you as well. So then you have a bag of chains and gotta find that tensioner where you're already out in the snow. It's all right here. It's all ready to go to throw this on and get going. Looking closer at the chains, you can see the diamond pattern I was talking about right here. Again, it's gonna add overall more coverage to the tire, so that's gonna give more grip when you're going down the road. You got the D-links here, and those are adequate for chomping into the ice a little bit and giving you that grip on that ice. Now they come in a quantity of two, and you get a carrying case for them, so I like that part. Sometimes they come in bags that rip to shreds the first time you put chains back in there. This is gonna hold up a lot longer. It's got a nice zipper on there so you can keep them all contained in the back of your vehicle and they don't sprawl out and take up all your space. Now installing them isn't so bad. You have to run the chains behind the tire but you don't have to crawl underneath the vehicle and there's some portions here that if you are in the snow you see the yellow it's got a coating on it so it's not going to get as cold as these chains so if you do not have gloves for a reason I recommend having them but if you don't it does help when you're making those connections. So we talked about what they are and what they do but how hard are they installed? It's not so bad. Check out how I did it. Got our chains laid out. What you wanna do is make sure there's no twists or breaks in them. It's gonna make it easier when you go to put it on the tire. Now we're gonna put it on the passenger side front tire. I suggest practice this in your garage like I'm doing. That way when you have to do it in the snow, it's gonna be easier, you know what you're doing. It's just more comfortable to do it this way as your first couple times as you get used to it. So the way I have it laid out, we have the yellow portion towards the front. You see the flat portion up here is facing up because that's gonna be along the back side of the tire when you drape the chains over. So that means it's gonna be protected. You don't want the other end biting into the tire. So what I'm gonna do is see the separation here. That's where the tire is gonna go. So I'm gonna take this chain and from front to back, I'm gonna slide it back behind our tire here. See this end on here. Get the chains divided and then make that connection behind the tire. Slide it in like that. Now you know it's connected, it's not going to come undone. And like I said, when we get a closer look in there, you'll see the flat part is now on top of the tire. I'm just going to drape the, the chains across the front. Now, up front, to help them stay on the tire, we're going to take our green hook. Attach it to our yellow link here. That's just gonna help it stay in place. We'll work our way to the bottom of the tire, adjusting the chain as we get there. Now we have the built-in rubber adjuster to run this gray chain through the red catch here. Get it nice and tight. Bring this link through that notch and then run the tensioner through the loops here. I like that this is built in. It's not a separate part that you have to remember or find later. It's attached to the chains and really does help tighten it up. So I'm gonna pull it up, make the connection there, and you can see they're on there. Didn't really take that long. I suggest driving forward and back if you're in the snow just to make sure they're on there correctly or they adjust correctly, come out and check them, make sure it's good. Then repeat the same process on the other side. And that's about it. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.